Meanwhile, a high court sitting in Osisiomangwa Judicial Division has issued an injunction restraining the electoral umpire or the chief judge of Abia State or any other judge from swearing in Samson Uchioga as the governor pending the determination of a motion on notice. This comes as the state government insists Mr. Okizi Ikbazu remains the governor of the state with a call for calm amongst the people. In the meantime, Governor Ikpazu is concerned about INX Act of issuing a certificate of return to Mr. Oga, despite a notice of appeal and motion for stay of orders made by Justice Okonabang of the Federal High Court in Abuja. In a statement issued by his special assistant on legal matters, Mr. Valentine Ofia, the governor said INX action contravenes the Electoral Act. In matters of this nature, it is provided by the Electoral Act itself, expressly in um, Section 143, that where a court decides that whoever is in office is not the rightful person who should have been returned in the first place, there should be no change in the headship of the administration until at least 21 days. It's especially stated there. And what that means is that there should be no enforcement. The court should not issue any enforcement orders. INEC should not issue any certificate of return to anybody until 21 days to give time for whoever was not the beneficiary of the judgment to file his notice of appeal. And then it states clearly further this, that if notice of appeal is filed, there should be state of execution until the court determines the appeal. Now, what has happened here is that Governor Baza has been denied his rights to appeal. Because at the moment, rather than adhere to the provisions of the law, what we have seen here is a situation where judgment was delivered on 27th June and enforcement started on 28th June, less than 24 hours later.